Well, the business actually started in the back of a garage. I became involved in about 98, so the business back then uh, was single shift, two cutting machines, a couple of old magic guys, and basically from there, business has grown steadily since. So we went from one shift to two, and eventually went to three shifts in the old building, uh, cool right place. When we finally made the decision to buy, rather than simply buy more of what we had, we wanted to do something a bit different. Now when we first started looking into it, like most other people, we were looking at the standard. 3 meter 1500 lasers, but as time went by and we looked at it a bit closer, as I say, we wanted to do something that was different that wasn't currently in the market, and the more we looked into it, LVD seemed to have that, uh, that niche or that part of the market. In particular for us, the 3 meter wide table was crucial. There are other large format lasers out there that are doing narrower tables, but the 3 meter wide fits perfectly with our standard sheet size. The things we can do on the laser that we couldn't do before. The ability to cut, obviously high definition, finer detail. Before we're having to drill holes, now we can cut them in a large number of cases, so that takes pressure off our drill machine. The lights out processing in particular is a real benefit for us, which again was one of the selling points. Without having to put on a full additional shift, we can get extra cutting out, um, leave the machine, set it going at 12.30 at night when the guys get home come back in the next morning and there's, there's up to four plates sitting there cut ready to go. So for us that's a, particularly at the moment with, with the workload that we've got, it's a, it's a lifesaver. Audio. Uh, well in particular we have one large base customer with a large part of their work that requires quite high tolerance which we weren't able to meet previously even on high definition plasma. Now we do all that work in the house, so that means we retain that customer, reduce their handling and their direct costs. Uh, basically we stack it and out goes the door without having to run grinders and chippers over it like we do off the plasma machine. So that, that's probably been the main benefit on that side for us. If something goes wrong and someone has to come, they'll be here. And certainly that's been the case today with GWB, so we're, we're more than happy with that. Well, in basic terms, the ALC measures the quality of the cut by measuring the flame or the, or the cut. And obviously, it's optimising the speed, which for us is critical. If you include the Auckland machine, we're the second and third machines in the world. So this is groundbreaking technology that no one else has got, only LVD offer it. So that's certainly something we, <coughs> we're pushing with customers when they're in here having a look at it. You hear all sorts of horror stories about lasers and they won't cut this and they won't cut that. Um, that hasn't been the case. We can put plate up um, without having to worry too much about its condition and it cuts. Um, we've taken, our operators have all come from a plasma background um, so um, you could say that's probably neutral as to whether that's an advantage or a disadvantage but again new technology for us so basically they were starting from, from ground one and we've been really pleased with the progress that they've made uh, in conjunction with the training that GWB have provided, um, as I say, we're you know nine months in. We're probably we're probably three months ahead of where we thought we might have been at this stage. So we're more than happy with that. We're running 18 hours a day in the workshop, and it's been operated lights out virtually every night at the moment. So so we would probably be getting you know 20 hours, 20 to 22 hours of production out of it. So we're we're probably well ahead of where we thought we might be. <laughs> Yeah, the way things are going, we're probably going to have to look at something else in the not-too-distant future.